Okay, summer, with, what is it, the 21st of August, coming up to, towards September, and all of a sudden, you're gonna see lots of races, the end of summer, wherever you are in the world, lots of races, September, October, November, December. Plenty of time to play with this year. We're only two thirds, less than two thirds way through the year, and you've got it all to play for in this autumn winter section. So wherever you are in the world, there's gonna be a bunch of races that are available right now. So the best course of action, if you kind of like, if you've got a bit of a hangover after a holiday, you've just come back from a holiday. Um, I just came back from Spain and I was just looking at the amount of people that were just there at 11 o'clock in the morning drinking. And I was, in, I was in the mountains and it was just, for me, insane to see these people just, you know, kind of starting off the day in, in such a way. But you're coming up to a period where you can really get things done. And so from now, if you look at uh, races for October, you've got a nice six to eight to nine week period where you can really focus down. So you can book something in October, book a race in October, a 10K or a half marathon or even a marathon, book something um, and get to work, literally get to work today or tomorrow and, and, and focus on that race. So just by signing up for going online and signing up for something today or putting something in the diary and committing to it you're going to give yourself that okay all right no worries and it's kind of that fight or flight mode because if you if you don't do the work you know you're going to feel it and if you've run a half hour of them before or a 10k before and you're not in shape for it and you're not going to hit the time that you used to hit in or you're not going to be run as fast as you have before you're going to feel that and you're going to it's going to kind of give you that kick up the ass that you need in order to move forward great thing to do now that i would do 20th of, 21st of, uh, of August. So that gives you five weeks until October, literally five weeks until October. It's insane. So I would book yourself something like a half marathon. If you've run marathons before, if you've run ultra marathons before, get yourself a half marathon book for October, somewhere nice and local where you can kind of get to it, but you commit into it. Get yourself into a place right now where you can put a good six, seven weeks training together. Get ready for that half marathon, but be thinking about a marathon in the second half of November or December and have that as the rest of the year. So right now, you're kind of two, two thirds of the way into 2023. You've got four months and 10 days ready, like for, re ready until the end of the year. You can turn that into a really nice half marathon or maybe a 10K along the way to the half marathon, half marathon, and then a marathon before the end of the year. And that can finish your year really, really nicely to the point that you could be running a PB for the marathon or there or thereabouts. And worst case scenario, you put yourself in a great position for the start of next year. So 2024 can be your year, but you've still got it all to play for in this year. You can still run a great 10K, you can still run a great half marathon and then get a marathon under your belt, even if it's your first marathon. This can all happen very quickly. Four months, 16, 17, 18 weeks, 19 weeks, if it's 21st of August, get it done. It's all yours. It's all yours to play for.